Hello and welcome to the Hugh Hattrick channel. And here we are at the latest time trial for this week. Now, we've got quite an interesting combination. It's using the famous Porsche 917 at the Grand Valley Speedway. Um, as you can see, there's a handful of people watching there in the stadium. Now, this, as usual, is on the racing hard tyres. So when you match that along with such a car, there's not a lot of grip. It's really, it's not so much it's slidey, but you're going to be quite careful with the way that you apply the throttle. And you've got to kind of use all the road and a little bit more, as you'll see doing this lap. Um, I finally managed to get a gold lap without too much work. It maybe took me about 15, 20 minutes to finally get a good gold time. Um, and in the end, you'll see I managed to do a 101.769. It is in the end. So let's show you how to do the lap. We'll go on board. And uh, that's a lot easier um, to see exactly what you need to do. So we're coming into the first corner now. And into the left hander, Tisney was saying, kind of keep it tight. It kind of bounces at that point and it kind of wants to run out wide, which you can see as it's done. I'm looking for the break in the barriers on the left. And then I break down into fourth gear, trying to keep that white line in the middle of the car and heading round. You want to be roughly round about the 24 seconds at the first um, uh, sequence here, the first timing point. And then just let the car roll through. You need to break before the 50 board to make that work again. I'll, we'll go around again and we'll see it and let the car roll. And as soon as you see the two orange uh, squares there in the barrier, you should be able to start accelerating. Now on this one, I actually missed a bit of time. I should have been on that curb a lot easier. Crucial corner, breaking down in fifth gear. You've got the marshals post there. At that point, you should be able to accelerate and keep going. And this should give you a 101.769. Let's go round again, though, and we will see exactly how we managed it. So we're coming into the first corner. It's flat out in seventh gear, trying to keep reasonably tight, but then it kind of widens out. And you're looking for the break in the barriers on the left. That's breaking down into fourth gear. Keep the white line in the middle of your car and then head on. You're trying to be at 24 seconds and break at just before the 100 boards. I had to break a bit before the 100 board. It's still struggling a wee bit because now, of course, with the physics, you cannot uh, break and steer at the same time. You've got to be breaking in a straight line. Holding off until you see the two orange squares. Use all of this on the right-hand side. I didn't use enough of that. And then mount that curb. If you do it that way, you'll see maybe another few tents in there. Um, I reckon I could probably do a 101.4 if I really pushed um, if I could get a clean lap with it, but um, it's really dodgy. And on that last corner there as well, it always wants to push out wide, so you've got to be quite careful when you accelerate. Some people are accelerating at the last corner at the Marshall board, and it does work if you get the line right, but you've got to get a really good line to make it work. Let's have a look from um, the kind of uh, chase camera, as they call it. So we're coming down, we've done the first corner. We'll get, look out for the break in the, uh, in the barriers. We're breaking down into fourth gear. Some people are taking a wee bit more, but I found it very hard to get the speed off and let the car glide around and also accelerate at the right point. There's probably a little bit of time here because I, I had to kind of break and sort myself out uh, twice there, which I shouldn't have done. I needed to do that all in one go. Look for, it's the second two orange blocks there and then use all that road on the right hand side I would stay over to the right because then you're you're actually shortening the track by quite a bit and when I did that I took about three tenths off this is the trickiest bit because if you go too fast you'll just hit the wall all the time so you've got to just try and carry as much speed as you can and there you go that is a lap of a 101.769 and it, at the moment it's about two and a half tenths within the goal time but because it's such a short lap Hopefully, that should remain so and you won't get sniped at the last minute, although I have been sniped on a few. But take care, everyone, and I'll see you very soon. Bye just now.